Hey guys, welcome back to Just Car Rob. And this is Rob. I am your host. <laughs> and what are we doing? Well, we've been carving, we've been working on boats and that kind of stuff. We've been working on our elements, our elements for our Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers Challenge on Facebook. So, uh, you might want to go over there and check it out. Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers on Facebook. They're having an element challenge. Uh, earth, wind, and fire, water. Earth, wind, fire, and water. Okay. It's so my understanding that your characters are supposed to have that included in them. If it's going to be a fire character, it needs to have a fire content. If it is going to be a water character, it needs to have a water content. Would you like to see mine? I can't show it to you. <laughs> it has super secret, super secret elements here. Um, I think the contest runs to the end of July, I believe they said. Uh, so get your entries in. All right, so we've got this uh, piece of basswood here, one and three quarter by one and three quarter. Doop doop, one and three quarter by one and three quarter square, and it is six inches long. So what are we gonna carve in it? I have no idea. I'm drawing a blank. Um. I think we should do another guy with his head turned, right? I think we should do that. Another guy with his head turned. I think so. Okay, so uh, this would be our front, sides, and back. On the back, we're going up a half inch for the feet. Then from the bottom up two inches. And then from the bottom up another two inches. So it'd be two, four, six. <coughs> we divide it in third. I'm, I'm dividing it in thirds for uh, a caricature. It's just uh, not proportionally correct, whatever. I know, okay, but this is a character and this is the way I'm doing it. Um, it's a way you could do it too. It's just a rough estimate, you know, two, four, six. You know, if, if it was eight, then we would still divide it by three and come up with that number. So I'm just roughly doing it that way okay so we'll be removing this wood this wood this wood and this wood okay and then this is going to be our face so he will be turning his head this way here turn his head that way because this is going to be gone this is going to be gone and this is going to be gone and that's the shoulder and that's the back so we're going to go ahead and take the dremel and do some rough out here going to get rid of some wood we're going to cut the back in, right? We're going to cut the back in this way here. We're going to cut the back in up on an angle, probably like a 45 degree angle that way, up into the back like that. All right. So uh, let's get the Dremel fired up in the uh, sucker here. We'll get that guy fired up to suck all the stuff away as we're carving. And so here we go. Let's get this party started. All right. All right. We got our knife sharpened up. Got our, our two favorite knives. They're nice and sharp. We just dropped them. So this will not be a purely power carving video. There will be some knife work in there, especially when we get into the details like the face and whatnot. And uh, we'll be using, probably be using the micro carver as well. So with that said, we will be starting out with Dremel 4000 with the flex shaft with the cut saw extreme flame burr. That'll be our first burr up. And of course, we'll change as we roll through. All right. All right. So let's get going here. All right, guys. So are you ready to get this started? Let's rock and roll. And Rock is going to roll with all his might in bedrock. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're starting to cut. We're uh, bordering out the feet. We started cutting the back end on that 45-degree angle to get the uh, back leaning forward. 
and now we're working on uh, putting the cutting the feet in deeper on the front side you can see shop inspectors rolling around like a crazy little dog I don't know why she's rolling around but she is it's kind of funny to watch you'd have to be here I guess so we're cutting that in using the uh, Dremel 4000 with the cuts all burr if you're interested in getting cuts all burrs I'll leave the link in the descriptions below. Use the code CARVROB in all caps and you can save yourself 5%. 5% my friends. Now we're cutting on the back a little bit more. And uh, yep, undercutting there. Right, uh, so that we're cutting the shoulder in there and we're, then we're cutting another shoulder in here. This guy's not going to have a beard. Uh, if he was going to have a beard, we would have drawn the beard on him already and left the front side of the shoulder alone otherwise you can make your beard end up looking kind of funny so now we're uh doing a little front work there flattening out the front don't want the face overhanging that much you can tell by the lines on top where i'm carving right there that's the way his head's going to be turned okay i didn't want his face sticking off uh, way over the shoulder like bigfoot was so I uh, cut his face back like I did with the uh, little girl with big feet, the Bigfoot girl. And uh, we're working the top down. That would be the top of his head. And we are going to carve ourselves uh, the last of the Mohicans. He's going to have Mohawk. Little American... Uh, I don't know if the Mohe Mohawks were American or if they were French Canadian. I'm not sure about that. Um, I guess I should look it up. But anyway, we're going to call him a Native American. And we're going to give him a Mohawk. We're going to give him the last of the Mohawks. You ever wonder how they made their hair stand up like that uh, back then? It isn't like they had hairspray, right? How'd they make their hair stand up like that? Straight up. I don't know. Maybe they used uh, bear grease. I don't know. Okay, so you can see we're cutting the mohawk in. Or maybe they used pine sap. No. Nah, that would be too sticky. So, uh... We're doing a little rounding over of the head. We're rounding over that mohawk a little bit. And we have got to shape this head more like uh, like an egg. Yep, we got to give him an egg head. So, we'll be getting into that here with the uh, Dremel 4000. And uh, we'll be using the microcarver. And, of course, we'll be using some knife work there. Uh, this is going to be part one of probably uh, four parts, I'm guessing. Because I recorded everything. I guess I could edit it out. Edit. Go see Eddie. Eddie the editor. Okay. Now this is why we keep our center lines in. So we can keep the. Uh, the narrow of the face. Um, make it symmetrical. Adjusting the light there a little bit. Rounding his head over. And there's a lot of this rounding. We're running three times the speed. I'm trying to get this out quick, guys. But uh, it's not going to happen because, believe it or not, there is a ton of carving on this little character. Uh, we may have went a little overboard with the details. And you'll see them in the future videos that are coming up. Now, uh, what I'm doing there is I'm undercutting the head. I want a neck on this guy. I don't want him to be necklace. That's right. We don't want him to have a necklace. We don't want to make them necklace. Necklace? Necklace. Necklace. Why do they call that chain you wear around your neck a necklace? Does it make you necklace? No, it does not make you necklace. And if anything, it accentuates your neck. So, should it be called the necklace or a more neck? More neck? The more neck chain? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Jordy Johnson, do you know why they call that chain you wear around your neck a necklace? I don't know. Maybe Jordy knows. Who knows? It should, certainly does not make you necklace. Now, a turtleneck sweater, that kind of makes you necklace, right? Because it's choking you. 
I got a big neck, so I can't wear them tight, but I don't even like wearing a tie. Uh, of course, I'm a little claustrophobic, and uh, having something like that hanging around my neck uh, kind of freaks me out a little bit. All right, so we got our tape rule. We got our straight edge out, and we're using that just to make sure we get that center line center. It's a nice thing about working off the corner of a block, guys, is your center lines are going to be the quarter, corner of the block, right? Now we're drawing ears on them. I'm using a, a G2 gel pen. So you guys can see the ears. I guess it should be a, a ear to ear to ink gel pen. All right, so now we have the microcarver out. And what kind of burr are you putting in there? We are putting one of those cheap Amazon three wing cutter deals. They work great until they go dull. Then they don't work so great no more. Um, I have this particular one. I have taken the torch and heated it up till it was cherry red. Cherry. And then I have got some quenching oil out there. And then I quenched it and I went back over it with my diamond uh, slick. Used my diamond slick. Went back over the veins on this thing and toughened them up. And it seems to be holding up pretty good. Okay, so now we got out our knife. And there again, we're working on the neck. We're going to take this two, two and a half inch OCC carving knife. And we're going to put the angles on the face. Because your face is not flat, is it? No, friends, it's not. And you can see I'm showing you that, that awesome trick with the uh, using the corner line to help you keep your, line, your center lines in. We're keeping the center line in on the face so that the, we can keep the face the same width on both sides. Any of you guys that have tried carving a wood spirit or carving a face knows the hardest thing is to keep the, the symmetry between the sides and the correct angle. Okay. I didn't want my face on a 45 degree angle, so I flattened it out a little bit. And we're remarking the ears. And we're trying to keep everything copacetic. We're trying to keep everything even. And we're digging in there with the Dremel again. Still got the flame burr from Cuts All Extreme Flame Burr in there. And you can see we're cutting the neck in. We're working up underneath there. We're getting the shoulders squared up. Okay. Uh, and we're, we're working on the, uh, the neck. He's necking. Look, it's a necking. It's a necking guy. Not a naked guy, a necked guy. He's got a neck. He's a neck. He's naked. Okay, uh, and we're going to make this guy, we're not going to give him any fancy shirt. It's hot, it's summertime. He's sweating, his horse is sweating, everybody's sweating, they're all down at the lake. And uh, I think uh, he's going to go fishing, yeah. I think we're going to make him go fishing. And we're working, still cutting that, undercutting that neck. Okay, and we're going to leave, you see where I marked out the ears? We're going to try leaving that alone until we need to make the ears. And then we'll start rolling that forehead back. The mohawk will come back. It's not going to be where it is. Well, the front part won't be where it is because we got to give him a forehead, right? Got to have a forehead. We're doing a little more uh, getting under that neck there. Uh, I asked before in a video if you guys think I should do a little more chopping on these videos and everybody's like see we're trying to keep the trying to give it that egg shape everybody's like no we like it the way it is uh, just do what you gotta do so with that I guess we're gonna have uh, multiple parts of the videos um, because I'm just not that fast to uh, well, that and I, I'm, I'm super busy doing, uh, keep, keeping myself out of trouble, the home repair, things like that. You know, getting boats fixed, all that good stuff. The shop inspector is looking at me like I'm crazy. Why are you talking to yourself, Dad? Because it's that way, it's that type of world now, Pepe. That type of world. New uh, new strand of the coronavirus is out there. I think it's all Jordy's fault. 
because it's called the Delta variant. And where's Jordy live? By the Delta. <laughs> Up there in uh, BC, British Columbia. Think, Jordy, did you start that Delta virus? Okay, so we're doing a little, we're cutting a little chin in there, or the jawline, working that in. Did you guys see Jordy's uh, video on going to the spirit trails? I think that's awesome. Love the spirit trails. I was thinking about doing something like that here uh, on my property, just putting a, putting some big six foot wood spirits out there it's uh right behind my property on the property line matter of fact is the uh, the uh wasabi boy scout camp okay so we're winding to the end guys already been running my mouth for 16 minutes so share subscribe like be awesome carve something awesome carve every day if you can guys and uh I hope everybody's doing well, everybody's safe, and everybody's having fun in the summertime. Get out, go fishing, go to the lake, go for a nature walk, ride your bicycle, or if you like me, hide in the air conditioning, because it's just too hot. All right. So, uh, check out... Uh, I can carve BAP over an island. Check out Jordy Johnson. Check out Sean Brooks, uh, Pin on Fire. Check out Ben, Studio on the Lake. Uh, go check out Calvin Carves, although Calvin hasn't been doing much. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.